excited for this one. This one is a GRC cyber specialist job that pays up to $127,000 a year. Now, the best part, you don't need IT degree, you don't need IT certifications, and you don't need any IT experience whatsoever. And I'm going to show you how. Now, I will reveal the job description, the entire job description to you. I will show you what they need. Not only that, I will show you the job resume templates that you need to nail the interview. Now, when you get the interview, I'm also going to show you how to prepare yourself, how to kill the interview so that they will keep calling you back and offering you the job. Let's dive straight into it. This is another very interesting uh, position. As I was talking, this is security compliance specialist. And this job, this role is paying up to $120,000 a year. $120,000 a year. And the, the best part is that this job is remote. So let's take a look at the job description. And we're going to look at the company. And we're also going to look at the resume that will get you this job as well, okay? Now, uh, the role is security compliance analyst. About the role, as a security compliance analyst, you will help to demonstrate the sustained compliance of the company with requirement for protection of its high value system and information asset. Basically, what they're saying is, you want to make sure that you help them sustain compliance of the companies with requirements, okay? And requirement of what? PCI, there are standards that they want to be uh, uh, compliant of, okay? And these are PCI DSS, SOC, ISO, HIPAA, CA, CPR, GDPR. This compliance here, this standard, you want to ensure that they are in compliance of that standard. That is the primary focus, okay? Primary focus is conducting internal PCI DSS assessment. This is very easy, okay? Is very, very easy. It's just conducting PCI DSS assessment to ensure that they are in compliance with PCI DSS rule. It means that if they accept, if they transfer, if they store card order data, they must be in compliance with PCI DSS. That's basically what they want you to do. Okay. So the ideal, the ideal candidate demonstrate industry experience around compliance with PCI and uh, related standard and will have excellent analytical skills with ability to identify non-compliance. Basically, what they're saying is you want to be able to analyze issues that you're seeing and then you want to be able to identify areas where they're non-compliant, right? That is basically what this is all about. So there's nothing absolutely really technical with this that you cannot do. Let's take a look at the responsibilities. Plan, conduct, establish remediation plan uh, for PCI. PCI, basically for PCI, okay? Basically for PCI. Uh, identify and recommend changes. You identify where they're not doing well, and then you recommend the changes for that. There are tools for all these things. There are tools that you can use to 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 do this, right? There are tools that has templates to be able to assist you to, in, in doing this. Assist with PCI compliance checklist. There's a checklist that they use to validate their existing controls. Okay, to validate their existing controls to show that okay we are in compliance with PCI DSS. And if that control says, no, they're not, then you're going to tell them, okay, how do we go about it? Then you provide management management guidance and expertise for the gaps. So what you're seeing here as responsibility, they are step-by-step -step and guide on what they want you to do. Okay, you just take a look at them one after the other. You're going to plan and conduct. You engage in business uh, uh, units. You identify and you recommend changes. You assist with PCI compliance, provide management guidance, basically, basically simple, simple stuff. And then <clears throat> if you're doing that, basically that will reduce the company's overall PCI scope uh, where possible via taking lead on scoping practices. You're going to help them reduce the burden by scoping mechanism, okay? Also, uh, deploy quarterly efficient simulation training. There are tools that they use for that. If you want to do... Uh, simulation training, there are tools that they use. Some use no before, some use, uh, and there are several security tools that they use. It's just for you to upload all the emails of the company and then do the test and then upload it. You don't have to do anything. What you just do is checking the dashboard to see 
how many people click and did they do what they are not supposed to do? That's that for this particular one. Now let's look at the criteria. Uh, BABS equivalent experience. So see, these bachelors, these BSc, they're not even asking you for computer science or tech degree. Like always, so you, you don't need to have tech degree to do these jobs, okay? Um, they're asking for Caesar. You can, if you don't have this, you can really put it as in view in your resume that you're working on it, okay? And as well, this is also something that you can do. Um, they also ask for like technical competencies, maybe things that you have to know. There's no Python, there's no hacking, there's no programming skill here. So it's something that you can do. Then let's look at the benefits. A general discount, 401k, paid vacations and holiday, uh, time off, you know, to volunteer, health benefit, tax-free coming. You know, just take a look at the benefit. Gorgeous benefit here. Gorgeous benefit. Now you're joining on con in continuing learning. They they also are, they also provide ways that you, you'll be able to learn. So let's take a look at the company. This is the company right here. William Sonoma. One thing you need to understand is this company, they accept, they store and transmit credit card data. That is why they have to be in compliance with PCI. And that is where you come in. You want to help them make sure that they are in compliance with PCI. Now let's look at the resume that will help you get a knock on the door of the recruiter to help you get an interview. Take a look at this. This is the resume here. This here will get you the help you need to be able to get um, interview, okay? So take a look at it and then let me know when you apply and how you are able to apply and get the job. Like I always tell you, it's good to always tell us when you get something like that. And I will see you again tomorrow with another exciting job opportunity that will be very, very helpful and interesting and also rewarding. Bye for now, guys.